Hello, hello, welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. We are going to continue on with our side quests. Um, I think the next one we're going to do. Let's see. Um, that's the main story. Let's go to Lanoska because I have two quests that require me to go to Lanoska or Lanosia. However you pronounce it, you know. Salavi, Salava. Um. Also, if you hear some bag noises, that's me opening a bag of uh, chips because I am hungry and I would like to eat some crackers. So, I am so sorry. This is so unprofessional of me. Okay, these are really cheesy. They're like... Mm. They're like if you took a Ritz... Cr uh, a cheese it sorry. And sprinkled extra cheese on it. That was your uh, daily dose of ASMR for the day, I guess. Sorry. Um, adventure, eh? With a message from uh, Slothswise, you say. Yeah, a preemptive strike to take the wind out of the kobold sails before they can mount an attack? And she'd recruit old buccaneers like us for the effort? This when even Admiral Merlweb has, uh, Merlweb has her hands full with the damn beasts? Why, that's either the most barnacle-brained idea I've ever heard, or the most bloody brilliant. Uh, I'll, I'll confess, I had my doubts when I heard she was leaving the yellow jackets, but I see that wench is, uh, wench is as salty as sea, a sea dog no, oh, sorry. As salty a sea dog as ever. I this is, should prove most interesting. Mm -hmm. Alright. We may we may fly the flag of the Maelstrom now, but in years past, me and my crew were some of the most scurviest pirates to sail the seas. Traded in our jo uh, traded in our Jolly Rogers for the Crimson and Black when Merlveb assumed the Admiral ship. I. Eh? Our days of pillaging and plundering may be behind us, but a pirate never loses his nose for treasure and glory. If you can convince my crew that there is fortune to be had in fighting the kobolds, I suspect you'd find them most agreeable to joining your cause. Say, for instance, if there was a healthy bounty for any buccaneer who made a name for himself or herself in the kobold war. I believe something like that might just be, arra might be arranged, I. Eh? Why don't you convey the message to my men? Uh, you have a quest, actually. Mm. Nah, it's a low level. I I'm fine. Right. A bounty on the kobold, gups of grog flowing over bottomless bowls of grub, and buxom wenches on each arm. Aye, that sounds like a right tasty proposition. Now where did I put my cutlass? Goodness. Alright. You have a quest, actually. Oh, I've been meaning to buy a new peg leg for me hobbled mate, and this bounty you speak of will just let me do that, just that. Raise it, mast. Tomorrow I set sail for kobold territory. Right. What do you have? Oh boy. I we'd face count, uh, danger countless times together ever since our pirating days. That was until the last mission, when the five of us set out together, and only I returned. Ooh. I'm not fool enough to hold out hope that my comrades still live, but not having so much as a scrap of thread to remember them by, it pains me like a saber in the gut. Might you go to the battlefield and bring back a memento of me fallen brothers? Aww. Aww. I swore to myself that my pirating days were through, but deep within, I've always longed to sail the open seas again. Aye, this is the chance I've been waiting for. Alright, uh, where's this last person? Are they up in the tree? Actually, no, I think they're down here. Oh, yep. Oh, there's also another quest. Pirate Slave for me. Alright. A bounty for fighting the kobolds? Well, why'd you, why'd you not say so sooner? I've never cared much for scurvy, the scurvy beasts. Uh, tell the captain I'll be sailing east on the morrow. What do you have?
You hear a scream from the palace. Um, is that the Wanderer's Palace? Well, I can't even tell because I can't see it. But uh, I I'd rather not find out if that was a scream or not. It's terrible. All right. I see you had a uh, little. Tr uh, I see you had little trouble winning over my crew. I once a pirate, always a pirate. The skull and crossbones of Limsa set sail once more, and I pity any beastmen caught in their wake. Nice, nice. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah, oh, but we're, we are gonna get at level fifty. We're gonna get the uh, full black mage set, I think. Because right now we have. Yeah, we have the boots. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I can't let my men have all the fun now, can I? What say you join us in a little operation that's sure to hit the kobolds where it hurts the most? In the crucible. As you know, the beasts pride themselves on their alchemical skills. We've located a hidden storehouse containing a prototype of a new crucible. I don't know what it's made of, and I'm not uh, I'm not a of, a of a mind to find out. I would charge you with drawing the kobold's attention while my levy, uh, levy sees through the crucible. Take these makeshift bombs to Iron Lake, where you'll find stores of sundry provisions belonging to the kobold army. I trust you'll know what to do with them from there. And mind you, the bigger the explosion, the better. On it, chief. Alright. It's up there, okay. Stupid grenades. That hit? Oh, hell yeah. Okay, so it says the body, the last one, is somewhere around here. But where 
Where exactly, though? Last one. Let's see if I can like sneak my way. And the last one is all the way up there, okay. this thing. But you know what? Wait, hold on. What? Oh. Stuck hand. Ah! This way? This way. Alright, here we go. Returned, have you? Did you find uh, odd of me fallen comrades? Yep. I I know it wouldn't have made no difference, but I just wish I could have been with them at the end. Aww. But any tears I shed be little more than drops in the ocean. I, I must take up their fight and see that their sacrifice wasn't in vain. Aww. Good work. Why, well, I reckon I heard those blasts all the way from here. You'll be pleased to know that the operation was a rousing success. The crucible is no more. Uh, I this sh uh, this should keep the kobolds quiet for a spell. Eh, uh, nothing like the pleasure of a job well done. I reckon the grog we guzzled tonight will be the finest we've had in months. Cool. I have another quest. Uh, I, the pirates of Limpsa, have added another chapter to our legend. And we couldn't have done it without you. On behalf of my entire crew, you have my thanks, adventurer. In a perfect world, the mere word of our triumph would convince any pirate captain still sailing aimlessly in search of treasure to quit their plundering and fight the good fight. But I know as uh, as well as any that coin is the quickest and oft times the only I way to a pirate's heart. I've drafted a full report of the operation along with the suggestion that the Maelstrom Institute generous rewards for any pirate be he Captain Cook or Swab, who contributes to their cause. I'd be most obliged if you could deliver it to Commander Riki. And after you do that, send my regards to Slav's wise. Tell her I'm waiting for her. Aww. Aww, sweet. Okay. 
There's a lot of people. Um. Oh, jeez. Bum, 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 bum. Did you, did you by any chance come from the direction of Camp Overlook? There seems to be have uh, there seems to have been quite the commotion there. There you go. A report from Commander Blo uh, Bloden. What's this? The Cobalt's Crucible is no more. Those damn scurvy fools! Loose cannons to the last, and I'm glad they're on our side. I'll gladly issue them a special commendation. And a hmm? hundred thousand gil for each crewman who contributed to the effort. The nerve of the man! Uh, while the exact amount will have to be negotiated, I see no reason to be stingy with our coffers if a bounty here or there would uh, co um, convince capable men to join our cause. I shall take Commander Blodwin's proposition to command. Jeez, okay. Alright, now what else? Uh, we need to speak to... This person. Oh my god, that fat chocobo. Wow. Uh, one moment as I pause real quick. Alright, and we're back. I had to take a little break for a second there to eat. Um, Alright, what, what were we doing? Okay, up there. Are oh, there more? Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna pick up those crescents, too. If you have come seeking Falkbrida of the Maelstrom, congratulations, you have found her. Although I suppose in truth it is I who have been seeking you. Camp Skull Valley overlooks the Sahagin 4 and the sea-sucking hordes right under her bony nose. We are the dam against the rising tide of savagery. Hmm. Right? I won't waste her time with niceties. As we speak, a ship is bound for Aleport where it will be uh, reprovisioned. The ship carries precious fright, crystals from the Isle of Umbra, which is set to... Uh, consigned to maelstrom couriers, yet loose lips have let the fishbacks gain wind of the plan. Were these crystals to fall into Sahagin hands, it would bring them that much closer to reawakening Leviathan, a contingency we can ill abide. I ask that you see it to, uh, ah, see to the safety of the crystals. My subordinate uh, uh, Ururu, Kokururu, <laughs> awaits you at Aleport. Oh my god, the name. Alright. Yeah, we can pick up these quests. Hey there, buddy. 
What kind of quest do you have for me? Gold. You seem an adventurer in need of work, and here I am, a man in need of dead sea wasps. Perhaps we might help each other. Mind you, I have no interest in chewing on the vicious vermin myself, but my brother can't seem to get enough of them, the uncouth cad. I'll not stand to watch him stuff his gob full of those prickly pests one more day. Ah, what I wouldn't give to see the look on his face, but I can tell him you've hunted down all his precious sea wasps. But don't expect me to reward you without proof. I'll need to see their rotting carcasses first. Okay. Sure. Oh, they're all the way in there. Ugh. If you'd care to help our cause, I'd petition you to hunt down some sea wasps and bring their umbrellas for us to eat. Our worst enemy atop these walls is sinking morale, and a true taste of limsa helps remind us what we're fighting for. Okay. It's basically in the same area anyways, right? Yeah. I'll go the other way. The other way is easier. My boy. We're on an adventure together. Okay. Gotta hunt things. Oh boy. Ow. Let's see if I can just... If I can just run. Run through everything. Whoa. Ugh. Ow. Uh. Nani? Oh. -ho. Eight of these eggs. What?
I didn't move again. I need to stop. I trust you're busy delivering those sea wasp souls to the dead. Just make sure you don't give their corpses to my brother. Now this is what I deem a proper slaughter. Excellent. All that remains is to determine how to dispose of the wretched things. I suppose there must be somebody in my brigade that can stomach them. Maybe. Maybe. Excuse the noise. I imagine you've been uh, you've come bearing my sea wasp umbrellas, unless you've turned coat and given them to my brother. That is. There you go. Well, well, quite a cash indeed. Ah, splendid. Tonight we will feast on the jellyfish while my jealous fish of a brother drinks in his tears. It will be glorious. Yeah. Sure will. Sure will. Oh, there's a merchant right here, so I'm just gonna sell real quick. It's 3 a.m. and I'm, I'm still tired. Like, hello? I take it you're the scion they spoke of. I'd imagine someone more imposing. Nevertheless, the ship won't be in for some while. We'll need to load the ship as soon as she arrives, so as to lend no license to Sahag and interlopers. You'll do the most of the help at the pier. Okay. Dawson?
There he is. Just who in Aorzi are you supposed to be? They hired an adventurer? No one told me about an adventurer. Well, I suppose you might as well make yourself useful. Bring the supplies from the wharf to the pier so the ship can reprovision as soon as she docks. That should help. Okay. These are we supposed to have? Well, you're a quick worker. I forgot you. Uh, I forgot my name, or I forgot to tell you my name. The name is Dawson. I oversee every crate that washes up and ships out of here. Go back and let your maelstrom masters know that this loads. Uh, that this loads load is in ship shape. No more. No more for you to do here. No, sir. I kind of can't believe. Okay, now we need to go to the black shroud. Oh boy. Oh my god. Okay, where is this person? This way. Oh, shut up! That one guy who's like, ah, yeah, another outsider. Shut up! the archer's guild. I'll definitely level up an archer in my own time. There he is. Okay. Oh, it's Lewin. Alderic, I have heard much of your deeds in recent days. You come to lend your strength to the primal investigation, yes? Your aid is most welcome. I shall proceed directly to the matter at hand. Though it's though still unsubstantiated, ill rumors stir amongst the townspeople of late. Rumors of a shadow clad knight who rides in the shroud. Oh, I know who I know what this is. Under normal circumstances, I would pay much uh, such idle ghost stories a little heed. This time, however, we have reason to suspect. But we have not to gain by rushing to judgment. I would have you go to the streets at uh, 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 Alteric. Speak with the people and hear their words from your own ears. Okay. I think I know which primal this is. If I've been spoiled correctly. Alright. Alright. 
The Ghost Knight? Aye, I saw him, clad from head to toe in armor that seemed forged from shadow itself, galloping through the shroud atop his hell's born steed. Mark my words, the trees themselves were quivering in fear that night. I have not slept a wink since I returned. Yikes. Uh. Oh, they're all over the place, okay. I saw him clear as day, or clear as night, you might say, with me own two eyes. More fearsome than the rider was his ghastly steed. I know not where you've traveled, but I can assure you, uh, you, you've not seen more frightening a beast. But one thing I can tell you, friend, that was no specter or shadow. Nay, he was as solid as you or me. Oh boy. Yeah, don't sneak up on me like that, friend. Forgive me. Ever since, uh, S being a glimpse of that ghastly horseman, my heart won't ever stop racing. I knew the elementals would punish us sooner or later for daring to disobey their will. This is surely a sign of sinister happenings to come. Yikes, Eru. Um, uh, last person is up here. Yeah, they're near, they're near old Gridania. Right up here. Yes, I saw the Black Knight, after which I promptly fled for my dear life. Should you end up in my position, you'd be wise to do the same. I have my pride, but I'm no fool enough to cast my life away. Besides, one look was enough to know. This is a manifestation of pure evil. Were he to turn that massive sword against Gridania, all our lances as one could not hope to stand in his way. Wow. Yikes. Jeez, it's really cold outside. Even though it's like dead of summer. Like, I mean, I'm not complaining. I like the cold weather, but like, it's it's summer. Can it at least warm up a little bit, please? Talk to Lewin. A knight clad in shadow forged armor, a mammoth sword, and hell's born steed. It is clear now, our worst forebodings have proven most unfortunately present. Our present? Prescience? Something? A ghostly knight atop his baneful steed, it is as I feared. Uh, the rumors bear a most in auspicuous resemblance to the reference in ancient scripture describing Odin, the dark divinity. It is my suspicion that the dark horseman of rumor is indeed Odin, and furthermore, that this malevolent presence is a primal. And yet, before the god's quiver takes action, I would seek the counsel of one versed in the holy writings. Make for Corymil and seek out brother Oapepesi. Oapepesi. I know... I, I would know what he knows. And be swift, Alderic. If Odin has truly come to the Shroud, time is not on our side. Okay, so we have to go to Quarry Mill. So let's go there right now. Ah, my back is killing me. Alright, here we go. I am Oa Pessi, and you must be the adventurer I've been expecting. 
Ah, yes. Odin, the Dark Divinity. Bolo Luwin is understandably distressed at his arrival. As one who read the scriptures, however, I'm not entirely surprised. Odin, as the ancient writings have it, rode forth into our world, wielding a dark blade capable of cleaving earth and the heavens. By his fell blade did perish earth herself and countless multitudes of her people. At long last, the great hero of Alag did arise to do battle with the dark god. Odin was slain and his spirit sealed within a forest spring. For years, this was thought to be a mere wives' tale, a ghost story told by mothers to frighten their young ones into obedience. But recent archaeological studies at, Allegan, at the Allegan ruins have unearthed damning evidence to the contrary. And now, these rumors. The scriptures claim that the dark divinity slumbers in Earth's fount, deep in the heart of the shroud where the power of a crystal confines him. I have ventured into the forest and seen the crystal with my own eyes, but this was many years ago. It is entirely, uh, it is entirely within the realm of possibility that something has gone terribly awry, and that, that and the fetters of crystal can find the dark divinity no longer. I would, I would send you to Earth's spot to investigate the matter, but be forewarned, your path will not be an easy one. Should any evil spirit stand in your way, this water of cleansing should avail you. Alright. Oh, where is that? All the way up here. Okay. I went the wrong way. How do I get up there? I'll pause for a moment. And we're back. Alright. Let's use this. Oh my god. You know what? Chill. This is a really nice place though. Very nice. Ah yes, my chocobo. Let's go Dreadnought. Me and you. 
off to conquer the world. Crystalline gal that held the dark divinity in check, were you able to ascertain what has become of it? Yeah. Magical energy still remains in the stone, though its powers have grown dim. What's more, behold how the stone has been cleaved clear in twain. By Odin's fell blade, there can be no doubt. Yes, there's no doubt as to the identity of our unwelcome guest. And yet, it is almost curious. If the dark divinity rides free, why does he tarry in the shroud? Any road, you are to be commended for your bravery, adventurer. Simi is preparing a report on this very matter as we speak. I'd be most grateful if you could share if you could share your findings with her as well. Okay. Where is she? Why is she up there? I think she is. So it is indeed as we feared. The seal of Earth's fount has been broken, and the dark divinity rises again. I must draft a report immediately. Yes. All right. Your assistance in the investigation has proven invaluable, adventurer. You have our thanks. With your aid, I have finally managed to complete my report, a thorough survey of survey of all eyewitness reports, along with the most credible theories regarding the dark divinity's presence in the shroud. I intend to deliver copies of the report to Brother Oap uh, Pepsi, Pepsi, and Bola Blue and myself. The science too will no doubt be eager to hear of your findings. I would be most appreciative uh, if you could deliver a copy to Uriange in my stead. My duties demand that I remain composed, but in all truth, I fear for the fate of our people. Should the time come that the Dark Divinity draws his blade against Gridania, promise me that we can count on your aid. Of course! Hey, we are back to the Waking Sands. Oh boy. Let's go. Oh my god, my bones are crack a everywhere. Oh boy. Alright. Oh, time to turn in all these quests. The seas have carried you back ho uh, back to me, I see. I've caught wind of um, the erstwhile Mady's triumph, and your contributions as well. You have made for a fine pirate yourself, I. Bringing the pirates together with promises of treasure and glory. That's the bloat and I know, I. Um, and from what I hear, it's already caught the ear of many a buccaneer. Bloated and I go a back go back away as we do we were comrades friends and i even more than that on occasion if memory serves you 
You go. I've got nothing but respect for the man, but building a proper army out of old buccaneers won't be easy. Any idea he comes up with, you can bet Admiral Merle Webb's already on it. Already had it. Treasure and glory are all well and good, but do you know what truly calls a pirate to the open sea? Freedom. And that's something the Maelstrom can never offer. But I can only hope that the others of me kind answer the call, I. Um, then, and only then, can I be a sh can be sure that my decision to part with me yellow jacket comrades was the right one. I see, I see. Alright. Friend, I have my doubts that even one of your uh that even one of your talents could win over the U. Once again, you have proven yourself quite capable of tasks that would make an ordinary adventurer shrink in fear. Uh you have given hope and courage to all here, myself most of all. Rest assured that we shall not squander the opportunity you have given us. For my comrades, for my realm, for a new dawn, I shall stand tall and fight. Awesome. Oh, I can buy potions and stuff here. Waking Sands orchestration roll. Oh boy. How many potions do I have? Ten. Cool. Hey, speaking. Oh, look! Look at everyone. All right. Atelios, I am most heartened by thy safe return. Wert thou able to cast light on the shadows that haunt the shroud? Yep. So it is true. Having awakened from nigh eternal slumber, the dark divinity now rides free in the shroud. Whilst you were afield, I immersed myself in the scriptures. The more I scoured the words, the more I did realize that the, draw that the writings draw heavily upon elegant historical uh, chronicles. History is quite a fascinating beast, is it not? One nation's glory is another's suffering. One nation's great hero, another's most abhorrent villain. I mean not to speak in platitudes, only to say that there is never but a single side to any story, even a story that is presumed as historical fact. To what end did the great hero of Alag seal Odin in a gowl of crystal? What impels the dark divinity to ride once again? Cast thine light on the shadows of history, friend, that we might be delivered from the darkness. Huh. Okay. Um, where's this guy? Oh my god, I forgot to turn in that quest. Ah! Now they're up on the wall. Oh, dang it! Stupid free company. Oops. Damn. Castle. Where is this person? Oh, there. Hmm. Excellent. You've done all you can for now. Just make sure you're prepared when it comes time for the ship to leave port. Oh, you yeah, have more quests. Uh -huh. Your ship's come in. Head over to the pier and see to those crystals. Th see to it that those crystals reach their destination. I can't read. She's all restocked and ready to go. Hop aboard, if you think that's best. Help! Servant, uh, ser servant Reavers at, are at the gates! 
Hey, man, are you good? S Serpent Reavers, those traitorous horse sons! Whatever in or Eorzea could they possibly be doing here? I cut bait with my cargo to escape with my life, but they're still out there. Hm. Waiting for us to try and reclaim the con uh, consignment, no doubt. Lucky for you, this adventure here is going to give those bastards what for. I'll hang back here and make sure no one lays a hand on the Maelstrom Freight. The ship will stay docked until you're done taking care of the Reavers. Alright. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. It's all the way up there. This is going to be a long episode, boys. Uh oh. Is everyone okay? What in the name of Navigator happened here? You must be the adventure the Scion sent. Yeah, you're not Dawson. My name is Dawson. I was sent from um, Melvin's Gate to oversee the freight here at airport, yet the freight is nowhere to be seen. Another Dawson? You, you mean to say an imposter has been handling my freight? Uh oh. And now the ship is missing. This was no mere prank. Treachery is afoot. You must notify Falk Ritter without delay. Oh. Uh. Oh, wait. Ooh. Uh, I almost just spent extra money. Oh, I can't believe it. I was- I was gypped! I was duped! Uh, hold up. I'm... seeing... this... okay. This is gonna be an hour episode again. I hate my life. Because I want all the stupid, um, side quests in one video, so I don't have to... worry. This sucks. Alright. Ah! Alright. Word of our folly has beaten you to me. So consumed were we in the dangers of the Sahagan Sea that we left ourselves open on land. Uh, though the scally wag uh, waggery took place on shore, I've, I haven't any doubt what the Reaver's doing. we pierced together the identity of our fraudulent fright bearer, the dread pirate Drysnickel. It's only fitting that the Silver Tongue Snake called the Serpent's Tongue home. The Sahagin we were prepared for, but not the Serpent's Reaver. Uh, the Serpent Reavers. We steeled ourselves against the dangers, danger of the horizon, only to fall to the danger at our very feet. Yikes. There's more? Oh my god, there's so many quests! Uh, the Serpent Reavers leave us no choice. The risk of the crystals falling into Sagan hands is too great for us to remain idle. This comes time to act. So many of the, uh, so many of the crystals that we have no means of recovering them. We can only hope to destroy them. While losing crystals is regrettable, we have far more to lose should Leviathan be summoned. Our forces will bombard the Reavers, drawing them out of their dens so we might slip in with these makeshift bombs and destroy the crystals. The Serpent's Tongue lies beyond Tidegate and the Sahagan land base, at the very heart of the enemy encampment. It's all the way up there, isn't it? Ah! Uh, there's so many quests! Serpent Reavers are pirates to take the Sahagan's god as their own. 
What sorry sort of pirate offer prayers to Leviathan? Like all zealots, their fervor grows with their numbers. Subtracting five fanatics from their uh, fold ought to dampen their fire for a while. Okay. Oh. That's a plus one. Beyond Highgate lies the Sahagan land base, which uh, once the fishbacks make uh, mean to launch an attack. Though we cannot forestall their advance, we might give them pause with a sudden strike. I need you to make four Sahagan serve as a cautionary tale for the rest. Okay. And, okay. Have, uh, have to hand it to the villain Drysnaggle. He's got gall. Most men won for six, 64 counts. Wouldn't dare leave the safety of the serpent's tongue. No doubt he's scurried back there by now. It's only a matter of time until the crystals end up in Sahagan hands, and we're all drowning in Leviathan's wake. Dry Snaggle's a cutthroat among cutthroats. He wields his axe with sharp wits and crushing strength. Needless to say, seeking him out and rendering justice will be far from easy. The navigator guides your blade. What? Ha! Huh? There's so much! Uh, whatever. The XP will be worth it, they say. XP will be worth it. Oh, I need to kill these things. Okay. that uh oh okay now we need to go all the way in here to do the rest of the quests oh god ow actually follow me here though the answer is yes Um... 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is, uh... Awkward. Alright, hold up. Okay. Now we wait. Because I messed up. Okay. Actually, from here, I can't. Sucks. Oh, wait, this is great. Hold on. Oh, I can't do that with mounted. Right.
Oh, you gotta be kidding me. There's a fate right here. Yeah. I... Alright. Our triumphant hero returns, and I imagine it will be some time before the serpent reavers and the Zahagan rear their ugly heads again. More importantly, we needn't worry about Leviathan rearing his head. The Maelstrom, and indeed all of Lemin Limsa Lominsa, owes you a debt of gratitude. And please, send my regards to Radolf. Radolf. Now that'll teach those reavers that they uh, that they reap what they sow. Rest assured in the knowledge you've made the seas safer for all. Uh, I don't think I can get anything from here, right? No. Okay. A job well done. Let us see how the fishbacks fancy that. Each day the hordes of slimy Sahagan soldiers threaten to take our beloved gates. I pray the day never comes, but prayer alone will not suffice. Thanks to you, today will not be that day. Awesome. I oh, have another quest. Oh my god. Guarding a wall so vast as Tygate requires the manpower of two brigades, and maintaining a unified defense requires they act in tandem. This task has been entrusted to the brigands, uh, brigades of the uh, of the brothers Nortman and Stoller, yet I fear they hold each other in esteem far from fraternal, bickering over the slightest of unintended slights. And so I need to ask an outsider, namely you, to bring provisions to Nortman of the North and Stoller of the South, to allay any appearance of improper, uh, propriety. We set aside two perfectly equal sets of rations for them, though you'll likely have your hands full convincing them with that. Oh boy. Ha, and here I feared I was sending you to your death. Glad you gave that rapscallion dry snaggle his upcoming. Uh, up, up and whatever. A man who can dispense justice will always have a place by my side. Awesome. Alright. Let's finish up these quests. We have to deliver it to the two brothers. Alright. If you have come looking for Stolart, you found him. Now what of it? Ah, but this is what you have brought us? Salted fish? You insult my men with brine-soaked brill while my brother dines on the fresh fruits of the sea? No. I am not an adventurer. What business have you here? There you go. Ah, rations? An adventurer bearing rations is always welcome, but I cannot help but think you bear even more rations for my brother's men. Ah. Wait, it's right here. 
You know, sometimes I feel like I'm lactose intolerant, but other times I don't feel like I am. I take it you witnessed their silly sibling rivalry firsthand, and now understand why some wonder whether the two can cooperate long enough to hold the wall. But nothing unites like a common enemy, and I have no doubt the brothers will set aside their petty differences when faced with a greater danger. Oh my god, you have a lot of quests for us here. Jeez. The Maelstrom needs your help. We would open the South Tai Gate to welcome a returning detachment, but doing so would expose us to the Sahagin. Thus we aim to launch a diversionary attack along the north side and lure the Sahagin hordes away from the open gate. Seek out Nortman at the North Tai Gate, and the offensive falls under his command. Oh boy. Oh, look at that sunset. How beautiful. I went the wrong way, by the way. Can I not go this way? That's a lot of bull. What? Not oh, whatever, it's too late now. Alright. So you come to help bail my beleaguered brother out of troubles uh out from troubles foot once more? Very well, all you need to do is lay a pair of the skittish little sea slugs. That ought to summon a lot of them. Sea slugs? Oh, Sure as raid, our subtle uh, stratagem drew the south, uh, southerly sea sods away from the open gates. The men of the, the uh, detachment sent their gratitude. Of course. Awesome. Alright, where is this person? In Thanalin. In the Waking Sands. Right. Right, the Waking Sands. Ah!
we enter to the Waking Sands. Alright. Ah, Atelios, so good of you to return. Tales of your deeds precede you. Knowing Limsa Lumensa, uh, lay in good hands allows us to tend to the matters of import elsewhere, but I'm relieved to have you back with us all the same. Much work remains for the realm. Yep. Awesome! We're gonna level up to 50 soon. Hell yeah! Anyways, I think we're gonna end the episode here. Because... Yeah, it's... Wow, it's been more than an hour. An hour and a half, really. But... Sorry for the long episode, I'm really sorry. I try to keep these episodes like relatively around the 40 minute mark, but it always ends up going over because I just have so much fun, I lose track of time. Before you know it, the episodes end up like this. So, sorry about that. Um, but regardless, I hope you enjoy the content, even though there isn't much content that I'm giving you. But, you know, whatever. Um, so I'll see you in the next episode where we complete the mission. We go in, fuck shit up, get out, possibly. Live to see you another day. See you the next episode. Take care. Be safe.